I want to live a life of danger. I want to be an airborne ranger. I want to go to Vietnam. I want to kill the Viet Cong. Come on down here, Mr. Navy guy. I, I, I can't, I can't, I'm not a little too crippled to drive that far right now. Or I'd come up and stand out in the street in front of your yard and yell stuff and, and pull my cell phone out out here and you could shoot me, in, you know, in your driveway. You know, I'll do, I could, I would do that if, uh, if I could get my car fixed a little bit so it'd ride better and wouldn't hurt my back so bad. But I don't think I can make it there. But you know, I'll call you on that. I'll call your ass. Let me see. You, you want, you want, you want a piece of me? You come kill me. Or if, if we can work it out and get my car fixed, I'll come up there and you can kill me, you little cowardly son of a bitch. <laughs> You know, lots of people complain there's no work. Say, so why do you say that for when nothing's got by U.S. made? They don't make nothing here no more. You know, this capitalism is above the law. They don't say don't count but to so. But when it costs too much to build a home, just build a steeper somewhere else. When the sun down on the Union and what's made in the U.S.A., it sure is a good idea to the green got in the way. I didn't know you were a cripple. What happened? Well, back when I, when I first got here, man, I, I just, my place is a wreck. I haven't been able to do a lot of stuff because I've been, my back was so bad I could barely walk when I first got, you know, about a few days after I first got down here. Uh, degeneration of the lower spine. And, uh, so I need to, he didn't recommend any therapy, so I'm kind of taking a little more aggressive stance with all my doctors. And got to get a different pain pill. They keep trying to stick me with these things again. You know, I got this little or tab, whatever it is, and it's got some kind of little opiate in it. Not much, but which but we'll be fine. But I don't want this stuff. I just want some straight opiate, and I'll be fine. I, I want a mild oxy. Actually, instead of the uh, hydrocodone. Yeah, like the oxycontin in that? No, hydrocodone. And, uh, no, I'm a big guy. I take two of them a day, and I drink a lot of shit. Well, I'm going for the, the small oxycodone. Yeah, the hillbilly heroin. Yeah, yeah. actual heroin's almost non-toxic to the liver and stuff like that, but they wouldn't give you a little tiny dose of that. I didn't get this one of those things I didn't get to get in today because I was dealing with a goddamn piece of, piece of shit psychiatrist or psychologist that I lined me up with. Really pissed me off too. Going to a new psychologist and he's wearing high heel shoes. That's where you lost it, right? Well, I mean, it was just, it got worse, you know. Was it a male? Female. It'd been, hey, it'd been fine if it had been a male wearing high heel shoes. That's what I'm saying. It was just like it was like some middle class mom with a PhD from somewhere. And I just kind of blew her out of the water. And she's asking me now, she wants me to go. I mean, it just was good. So I called my old psychologist and said, uh, you need to talk to this lady and see if I'd stay with her. But I think I just, she didn't, she didn't have a clue where I was coming from. I mean, she just wasn't qualified to handle me. Special event station, of course, uh, we'll try to have check-ins from uh, Brian Crow, K3VR, and all this other stuff. Uh, is he doing a suicide analysis or something like this? By the way, this is not a pity suicide. This is a protest. I'm going to probably, well, I'm not going to self-immolate myself in front of the FCC building, something like that, but I'm going to have a, if this is not cleaned up uh, sometime this year, no, son, any, not immediate now, I don't have a will yet, but sometime within a year or so, uh, I'm going to have a special event station, and I'm going to do a protest suicide. I'm going to probably, well, I'm not going to self-immolate myself in front of the FCC building, something like that, but I'm going to have a, if this is not cleaned up uh, sometime later this year, no, it's not, any, not immediate now, I don't have a will yet, but sometime within a year or so, uh, I'm going to have a special event station, and I'm going to do a protest suicide for the lack of enforcement and all of the loudly going on with these boys. And not just to me, I'm not feeling sorry for myself. It just uh, what I've become to realize is before anybody will do anything, someone has to die, and I'm the only one evidently that has the courage to do it. So there you go, uh, AE4FB. Just like we had suicide bombers, AE4FB. Hey, that's 
a good one, uh, Mike. That's a real good point. Mike, this sounds like a really dumb idea. You Excellent, Mike. Excellent uh, point you just made. You've got a whole bunch of frequencies that are whole... Excellent point you just made. That station there uh, has just piped down. I'm going to find some useful idiots conditioned to follow. And I'm going to see if I can get some uh, suicide squads uh, organized, Mike. You've given me an idea. You've given me an idea. Uh, if, uh, if, the, uh, uh, if the Rug Riders and Wogs can do it, uh, why can't we? Uh, considering that, you know, Al-Qaeda Northern Command is on frequency with uh, Alpha Echo 4, Fox Bravo on the side. Uh, this is... Radio Canada, Victor Echo 7, Kilo Fox, Mike. All right. Fox, 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 short box. But I don't want to. Scott, talk uh, something else, please. No. You, Joe, who the fuck's net is this? This is not a net. Get the fuck out of here, then. Shut up. I'll quarm you. You know, you go ahead then, because the SEC is listening. If they listen to you, Mikey, if, you and know, all I'm your nonsense and all that cussing, why in the heck are you still on the radio? Well, I'm you're in renewal coming up anyway. I'm still on the radio because anyway. I run things right. You're Come renewal coming so, up uh, anyway. Uh, we know uh, what's going on with you. You're right. on your mind. Uh, uh, the the you know, 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 I like to see what you've done. Who in the fuck is talking when I'm talking? The Christian. I'm fucking net control. You get that? Fucking net control. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, Joe. Anyway, um, you're pissing me off. Jesus Christ was a man who traveled through the land, a hard-working man and brave. He said to the rich, give your goods to the poor. So the laid Jesus Christ in his grave. Who did that? Socialism. You read that before, Mikey, I forget. Would well, you mind if I read it again? Uh, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> no, there's no excuse for you. I'm calling the uh, Sheriff's Department on Monday. I'm going to ask to get a message to your old lady. Over the shit. Jesus Christ was a man who travels in the land.